Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about how to design dual luciferase reporter assay experiments, how to do the calculation for dual luciferase reporter assay experimentation, and also how to interpret the data for dual luciferase reporter assay experimentation. So let's first talk about the designing of dual luciferase reporter assay experiments. First, we clone as an example mu 200 c 3 p target site present in 3' prime UTR of ACE2 in p mir glow vector. This p mir glow vector is dual luciferase reporter assay backbone. First step is the cloning. Okay, and after the, after the cloning, the next step, what we do is we co-transfect cells with mu 200 c 3 p mRNA mimic and 3' prime UTR p mir glow plasmid cloned in step one. So how to do the transfection experiments? that I'm gonna show here. Let's say that you have 12 well plates and you have to make three different groups. Group number one is scramble control. There's three wells for scramble control. Group number two is MIR200C3P. So these three wells are for MIR200C3P and group number three is untranspected cells. These untranspected cells are included uh, as, as a background, okay? so. What we do, we co-transfect scramble control and three prime, three prime UTR pimirgulo plasmid. We do the co-transfection here in number one wells. In number two wells, we do the co-transfection of the cells with mir 200 c 3 p mimic and three prime UTR pimirgulo plasmid in number two wells. And in number three wells, what we do, we leave these wells untranspected. So after the transfection of the cells with above mentioned molecules what we do we then after a certain amount of time it can be 24 hours or 48 hours depending on your experimental needs we do the lysis of the cells with the lysis buffer we collect the cells and do the lysis of the cells with the lysis buffer and after the lysis what we do we add lar second reagent and measure firefly luciferase signal okay we first measure firefly luciferase signal and finally in the number five, what we do, we add stop glow reagent and we measure renilla luciferase signal. Okay, so this is how we design dual luciferase report rest experiments. Okay, so now let's talk about the calculation of dual luciferase report rest experimentation. We will obtain the values after reading the plates. We will obtain the values for firefly as well as renilla luciferase uh, signal as shown here. So these three. And these values here represent the firefly uh, luciferase signal values. For scramble control, we have three values. For mir 200 C3P uh, mimic transfected group, we have three values. And for the non-transfected cell lysate, we also have three values. Then what we have to do, we have to um, deduct the background signal. The background signal is the signal coming from non-transfected cell lysate. So therefore, we will take the average of these three values and deduct the average from these values here and these values here. That means from scramble control as well as from mir 200 c 3 p control. So now let's take the average of these values. To, 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 to take the average, I'm just gonna add these three different values. I'm just gonna add this one, this one, and this one, and divide them by three, okay? So 2000 is the average. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna deduct this average value of 2000 from all these three scramble control as well as these three mir 200 c 3 p values. Okay, so let's do that. So equal to, I'm just gonna, from this value, I'm gonna deduct 2000, okay? Hit, I'm gonna hit enter and I'll just drag it down. Yes, to calculate the values for remaining replicates. So after this step, so what we do, for the mid 200 c 3 p also, I'm going to do the same. So we have average value 200, sorry, 2000. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to subtract from this mid 200 c 3 p yeah, select this one and minus 2000. I'm just going to do 2000 and hit enter, okay? So from this group also, I deducted the background signal, okay? So this is for Firefly. This is for Firefly Lucifer's signal. And we have to do the same similar calculation for Lucif uh, Renilla Lucifer's signal. So for that, then what we do, for the Renilla Lucifer's signal also, 
we have three values for scramble control we have three values for mir 200 c3p and this is the uh, background signal coming from non prospective cell life cell. We, we need to do the average when we do the average so how much value we will get let me show you we will get this value plus this value plus this value divided by three so we get 1500 so what i'm going to do now i'm going to deduct 1500 from these values here and these values here because this 1500 represents the background signal for renilla lucifer signal okay so for the scramble control let's first do the deduction this minus 1500 okay 1500 i'm gonna hit enter and now yes now in in now for the scramble control i have already deducted this is the background signal i'm gonna do the similar things for mir 200 c 3p group i hit enter and i'm gonna drag it down okay so now what i have done i have just deducted the background signal from 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 the from the values that i have trained for firefly lucifer signal as well as for the um, renilla lucifer signal i just deducted the background signal after doing this calculation i have to cal i will calculate the ratio okay the ratio will be firefly divided by renilla for both the groups scramble as well as mir 200 c3p group okay so to find out if these uh, mir 200 c3p is interacting with as an example 3 prime utr of SEU 2 or not i have to calculate the ratio the ratio is firefly divided by renilla so what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna now for the scramble let's first do the calculation for scramble i'm gonna select this value and i will divide this by the first scramble value and hit enter and simply drag it down okay for the scramble firefly by renilla and for mir 200 c3p also i'm gonna do the same thing okay for mir 200 c3p i'm gonna do the same thing so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select the first value and divide it by this one here and i'm gonna hit enter okay so all right so we have these values now so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna select these and make the graph okay insert and i'm just gonna make the graph shown here okay as you can see nicely that for all these three groups you know we we have you know if we take the average also or we we have nicely the reduction of uh, luminescence signal in all of our technical replicates okay all of our technical replicates so what i could do also is i could simply take the average average value for this okay average value for let's say uh, average value for our firefly uh, sorry average value for a scramble group so average value for scramble group will be this value plus this value plus this value divided by three so this is the average value for scramble group and i'm also going to take the average value for our average value for our firefly uh, sorry mid 200 c3p group and divided by three and so all right so that let's and plot the graph okay let's plot the graph between these values okay insert and go to the graph here and plot it you can nicely see that for in the mid 200 c3p group there is a decrease in relative luminescence signal so this clearly indicates that mir 200 c3p is interacting with 3 prime utr of ace2 okay so uh, how to interpret the data okay if look at here this is the value for the scramble control this is the value here for uh, mir 200 c3p group you can clearly see that 0 0.9 is less than 1.33 and when we even when we perform the statistical analysis this value is statistically significant so this clearly indicates that mir 200 c3p is interacting with 3 prime utr of ace2 in our example okay if this value was more or less equal to this one that that would indicate there is no interaction between mir 200 c3p and 3 prime utr of ace2 okay this is if this value is higher then that would mean that uh, this uh, mir 200 c3p actually increases the expression of uh, expression of ace2 rather than decreasing its expression 
by targeting this molecule. Okay, so what is the interpretation? So the interpretation will be that, so the, let's first look at the first graph, okay, dual luciferase reporter assay data interpretation. This is the first graph here. This is what we obtained. As you can see that compared to the scramble control, mid 200 c 3 in mid 200 c 3 p group, there is decrease in relative luminescence, okay? There is decrease in relative luminescence. That means this clearly indicated, indicates that mid 200 c 3 p is interacting with 3 prime UTR of ACE2. Why? Because when we cloned, when we clone, we cloned three prime UTR of ACE2 in our dual luciferase reporter assay vector. Therefore, this indicates mid 200 C3P is interacting with three prime UTR of ACE2. Okay, and in this case, you can see that if 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 this was not the case, if this was the case, so where you can see there is no uh, difference uh, in relative lumin luminescence signals between scramble control and mid 200 C3P group. So that means that. This would indicate mir 200 c 3 p is not interacting with a 3 prime UTR of ACE2 if this was the case. And in third case, if this was the case, what would this mean? If this was the case, in the third case, we can see compared to the scramble control signal, mir 200 c in mir 200 c 3 p we have more relative luminescence signal. So this would indicate that uh, mid 200 c 3 p actually causes increase in expression okay increase in expression increase in expression of ACE2 because this we clone 3 prime UTR of ACE2 and we see increase in dual luciferase luminescence signal that would indicate that mid 200 c 3 p causes increase in expression of ACE2 this is how we interpret interpret the data okay